Good morning, friends. This morning we're going to study about covenant and the covenant that Jonathan made with David and that Christ makes with us. Um, we're going to begin in 1 Samuel 18 and um, 1 through 4. As soon as he had finished speaking to Saul, the soul of Jonathan was knit to the soul of David, and Jonathan loved him as his own soul. And Saul took him that day and would not let him return to his father's house. Then Jonathan made a covenant with David because he loved him as his own soul. And Jonathan stripped himself of the robe that was on him and gave it to David and his armor and even his sword, his bow, and his belt. When Jonathan gave his robe to David, David was symbolically putting on Jonathan. In the covenant, the two became one. When we repent and receive the Lord Jesus Christ, we enter into a new covenant of grace with Christ, merging ourselves with him. And in doing so, we are putting on his robe, and he has already put on our robe. We are to become like Christ. In Hebrews 2, 14 and 17, let me turn to those pages. Um, it says, Since therefore the children share in flesh and blood, he took himself likewise and partook of the same things, that through death he might destroy the one who has the power of death, that is the devil. Therefore he had to be made like his brothers in every respect, so that he might become a merciful and faithful high priest in the service of God to make propitiations for the sins of the people. It tells us that Christ became flesh and blood so that through his death he might destroy the devil who had the power over death. He became like us so that he could become a merciful high priest and make reconciliation for our sins. In Ephesians uh, 4, 24 through 32, it says, And to put on the new self created after the likeness of God in true righteousness and holiness. Therefore, having put away falsehood, let each of you speak the truth with his neighbor, for we are members of one another. Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger and give no opportunity to the devil. Let the thief no longer steal, but rather let him labor, doing honest work with his own hands, so that he may have something to share with everyone in need, letting no corrupt talk come out of our mouths, but only such as is good for the building up and fits the occasion that it may give grace to those who hear. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption, letting all bitterness, wrath, anger, and clamor, and slander be put away from you, along with all malice. Be kind one to another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, as God in Christ forgave you. You know, it tells us that putting on the new man, which is the righteousness and true holiness, speaking truth, give to those in need, we are to edify, administer grace, and we are to be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another. You know, and there were some things he took us, told us to take off in there. Uh, when we put on Christ, we're to take off lying, being angry. Sometimes we get angry, but we're not to sin when we get angry. It's supposed to be a righteous anger, which sometimes is hard to do. Um, and don't give place to the devil. And um, we're not supposed to talk about each other and gossip and uh, cause problems within the body of Christ. We're not to grieve the Holy Spirit. And in Colossians 3, 12 through 17, we read that we are to put on the tender mercies of kindness, humility, meekness, long-suffering, forbearing with one another, forgiving each other, loving each other, walking in the peace of God, and thankfulness. Um, these should be signs that we belong to Him, that we, we look more like Christ than we did yesterday. And our goal should be to take off the sin of the flesh, the old self, and put on the newness of life in Christ. And he took on our robe of flesh, and we are to put on his robe and the indwelling of the Holy Spirit in such a way that renews and truly reflects Christ in us. 
thanks guys thanks for sharing with me today y'all have a blessed day bye bye